So say, oh, what, um, what you pray for? And they'll be like, oh, nothing much. And he says, that's exactly what you'll get. <laughs> you have to be very, very clear. And in fact, this is your chance to tell my joke again. <laughs> so basically, there was a guy driving in the car in America, and he was driving to work, and there was a stop sign. And he saw the stop sign, he looked, and he saw nobody was there, so he didn't stop. He just slowed down, looked, and then carried on going. The policeman comes after him, follows him, and he stops the guy, and he says, why didn't you stop at the stop sign? And he said, I did. And he goes, no, you didn't. He goes, I did. He goes, no, you slowed down. You didn't stop. And the guy said, he did. I'm going to let you off this time, but don't do it again. Second day, he goes to work. He slows down at the stop sign, doesn't stop, keeps on going. He does this about three times in a row, and the police lets him off it. One day, the policeman's like, look, I've had enough. I told you. Breaks down the window, gets his battle stars, beating him, beating him, beating him. And the person driving says, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. He said, do you want me to stop or slow down? And he keeps beating him. <laughs> words are so important. If your words frame your life, hey, you guys can get it too. <laughs> if your words frame your life, the Bible says, speak those things that are not as if they were. Yeah. You can't afford to even in your normal conversations say nonsense. And I'm a bit extra. Steph gets annoyed at me. But I believe that what you say changes your even, well, I know this, will even change your mood and will change the way you think. I can't afford in my journey to... I, I call like things like money in certain different sessions different things. Um, money, I generally call it EE, which is economic energy, right? Because I don't want to think of it as this worldly thing that, that um, is so unattainable and stuff. Um, sometimes I call it purchasing power. So it reminds you what the purpose of it. Sometimes I call it currency because it's currency. And you wonder, when you say currency, it reminds me because a current is something that keeps moving around. That's what it is. So currency reminds me that there's something moving. Choose your words because your words are inside. The Bible says abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, right? Yeah, amen. So you know how somebody feels about something. There was a movie that uh, we all watched called uh, Maybe It's Just Not That Into or something like that. And basically he says, they're talking about a marriage or whatever. And he goes, I don't even know why you want to go to that funeral. Something like that. The guy says, did you just say funeral? He says, we're talking about marriage. We're talking about wedding. We're talking about funeral. And he doesn't even realize he said it. It was the abundance of his heart. He spoke, right? You have to be specific and be specific with this. Be specific with God and let God bless it. I think that's everything. God bless you. Hallelujah. Uh, come up and let's, let's, get, let's pray together. Amen. If anyone wants to know more about your dream, if you're not clear, come to the front.